everyone, this is Jackie Williams, and today I want to share with you the chalkboard technique, as well as share with you the new flower and field designer series papers. Now these will be available in January and February of 2021, so they will only be available during those periods, and these will be a free gift with a qualifying purchase um, during that time. And you can see that on one side you have these really bold, beautiful flor floral prints, mostly on a black background. And on the other side, you have the more solid prints to coordinate with those florals. So I'm gonna do a card with you today, and then I'm gonna show you a little notebook that I did using this same technique. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with a piece of Whisper White, just a half a sheet of cardstock folded in half, and then a piece of Whisper White that's just slightly smaller than your card front, which I have embossed with the subtle embossing folder. Next, we're gonna use a piece of basic black that is three and a half inches square. So regardless of uh, which country you're in and the size of your card base, this size will work, the three and a half inch. You just might have a little more white showing than I do, but it won't matter. It will still work just fine. And then I'll have you cut four white squares that are just a little bit less than one and three quarter inches square. So just a smidge less than that. And we will put those on like a grid pattern. Now I chose to put these three down flat and this one up on dimensionals. You can choose to have them all up on dimensionals or all down flat. And then we're going to cut three pieces of designer series paper that is one and five eighths inches square and a piece of whisper white that is one and five eighth inches square. And we'll layer those up onto our little grid. Now I chose to emboss that uh, piece of whisper white with the little details embossing folder. This is one that I find really cute. It's just got some stitching on it, which uh, is quite fun and whimsical, and I think goes quite well with the mood and feel of these designer series papers. Now, of course, you can choose whichever ones you want here, but um, I quite liked having the two solids with the one print. And next, before we get into our chalkboard technique, we're just gonna embellish a little bit with the In Bloom bundle. And I love this one because we've got some nice solid flowers, which are great for techniques. And all of these floral and leaf and frame images all have stitching, and I'm quite partial to stitching myself. So we're gonna use this frame die for our words and then some of these little flowers and leaves for our embellishment. So I've cut out a little stitched flower with bumblebee and then the little flower center with just jade. And then I have a granny apple green leaf. So we're gonna go ahead and put this onto our one white square and I'll use a little bit of Tombow glue and add our leaf about like there. And now let's do our chalkboard technique. So what we'll need for this is a piece of basic black, and I'm going to use the You Are Amazing stamp from the In Bloom stamp set, the one that I just showed you. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp it twice because when I'm using my scraps, I just go ahead and use the whole scrap uh, because just in case I make a mistake, but in any case, if I have some already stamped or embossed words in my drawer for another project, they never go amiss. And then we're gonna put our white powder on with over the Versamark, and then we will heat that with our heat tool, and then cut it out with that label die that I just showed you. And we'll end up with something that looks like this. I'm gonna grab my uh, mat here, and to achieve the chalkboard technique, I'm gonna use the Whisper White ink, and this one is always confusing because it has a black cover, but it is a white ink, and you do get a refill with this pad. So you get an uninked pad when you order it and then a refill bottle. And then each time you use it, you may need to just add a few more drops of ink. However, for this technique, you do want your pad to be reasonably dry, not overly wet anyway. And I'm just gonna take the pad directly and brush that across my black. And depending of course how wet, oops, how wet your ink pad is, you'll get different effects and you'll get that kind of chalkboard dusty look and you may end up even with little stripes depending how wet your ink pad is. 
Now we will go ahead and put this label on with dimensionals onto the center of our card, like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this onto our card front. Now we just need a little bit of bling and embellishing. So I wanna use the new matte black dots and I think these are fantastic. I've been wanting black embellishments for quite some time now and often ended up coloring in pearls. So with this one you have large ones and smaller ones. I think in this case you can use either one. So I'm just going to place three of these onto the bottom corner of my card and then I want to use the Artistry Blooms sequins. These come in four colors and they are self-adhesive along with some pearls. And I'm just gonna take a large one and I might just tuck that in about there. And then a small one I'll put about here and then grab one of the little pearls. I quite like mixing my embellishments. I might put that about here. And there we go. Now here's a few other versions. So I have some different color options that I did. And inside the card, you can go ahead and use that same beautiful stamp set and just stamp a simple flower. Now I also created some notebooks to go along with these cards. And you can see that I have used the same chalkboard technique. So this time I've used the stitched rectangles. Let's see if I can get them all in and I've used these as gifts, but it's the same technique. I've used the ridiculously awesome stamp set here and embossed that in white on black and then use my white ink pad to just brush over it. You may even find that you wanna use a little tissue or a sponge and just kind of uh, smear that ink a little bit more for lack of a better word, just to create that chalkboard type look. And it's the perfect technique with these papers with the black background and the bright colors. So I hope you have fun with that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe while you're here and enjoy the rest of the videos. Bye-bye.